Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to bring a logo or text you made in Illustrator into Cinema 4D and extrude it and make it three dimensional. Um, I've chosen this phosphate font inline at 600 points um, with just normal O because it has these two rings and that'll show an interesting problem once we bring it into Cinema 4D. So the first thing you want to do is expand the object, make sure it's no longer text but an object with object and fill. And then we're going to save this as an Illustrator file, but you have to save it as an Illustrator 8 file. And this is the part where you want to make sure that you choose Illustrator 8 or it won't open in Cinema 4D. So now that I have that saved as an Illustrator 8 file on my desktop, I'll just move this out of the way. And here's Cinema 4D. And here's that file. All I have to do is just drag that file into Cinema 4D. It'll ask me what scale, that's fine. Okay, now I'm just going to push command and drag and make a copy of that so we can see the difference. So if I just went ahead and extruded this right now, and anytime you extrude something, if you push this hierarchical button, it, it'll extrude all the splines at once instead of all the individual splines. But if I just extrude this, right now it'll just be this solid object, and that's not what we want. So in that here, we come down to this paths, these splines, and each one is a different ring, uh, one of the inner and outer rings. So what I'm going to do is just group these together to let Cinema 4D know that this is one object and not two. So I'm just going to go down here to connect objects plus delete, and on the same on the other two paths, connect objects and delete, plus delete. And so now when I go to extrude this, I put it in here and hit my hierarchical button. Then I have these spaces, these negative spaces in between the rings like we want. I'm just going to bring this down to like five segments over here on the movement. Delete this other object. And so now this is all one object and we can start adding materials and animating it. I want to make these rings gold so I'm just going to go to node materials, select gold and just drag those onto the object. All right, so now if I turn that back on and render, you can see they're, they're a gold pattern. Um, so we're going to go to animate. And animate, you can go down to these paths, and just make a keyframe on zero. And like if I went down like 15 and just took this ring and held shift to it was at 90 degrees, made another keyframe down to like 60, rotate it again, 90 degrees, and another keyframe. Then when you play this, you'll start to get some motion. All your modeling done and all your keyframes done, and you've got your initial motion ready. Um, you're gonna wanna add a camera, and then go to render settings. On save, you're gonna wanna name the movie and choose the location you're going to save it to. You're going to want to make sure it's on a movie format. And then on output, you're going to have your screen resolution and you're going to want to make sure to choose all frames. Uh, the default is current frame and choose zero frame from and then to whatever frame is your last frame. And then you just start rendering and it will render all the frames and save a video in the location you chose. Thanks for watching.